it's Dr. C, and today we will be going over um, how to navigate probability problems such as this one. So this one doesn't really give us much context, but it does just say, what is the probability of drawing a black checker and a white checker without replacement? So whenever we have a word problem, the first thing I want you to do is always kind of go through and navigate what are the important elements. So in this word problem, without replacement this means that out of all the checkers we're not replacing any of the ones that are being selected okay the next word we want to look at is and so basically it is the black checker and a white checker okay so with that being said the word and lets us further know that we will be utilizing the multiplication rule in probability okay um, and then the without replacement lets us know that this is a dependent um, group. Now, remember in probability that dependent distinctly means that what we did for the first trial does have an impact on what happens to the second trial. And in this case, it does. I have this picture of a checkerboard just for reference. So keep in mind that we have 12 white and 12 um, black checkers which gives us a total of 24 checkers, okay? We're gonna hang tight to that. We're not gonna do anything with it just yet. So um, under the multiplication rule, when we have a dependent set, um, it looks like this, and I don't want you to let the formula kind of trip you up or scare you. All this means, so when we write it out in real language, pretty much the probability of selecting a black checker and this symbol means and a white checker equals the probability of selecting a black checker times the probability of selecting a white checker given the symbol means given a um black checker is selected okay so first things first the probability of a selecting a black checker we have 12 out of a total of 24. So 12 out of 24 times. If we select one checker, um, that means that's taking away from the total amount, right? So if the first one is gone because we did not replace it, that means the next one distinctly, we're only going to have 23 to work with. Now, we would have one less black checker from the first one but that has nothing to do with the white checkers. So we still have 12 white, okay? So basically the probability would be 12 out of 24 times 12 over 23. So 12 times 12 is 144, and then 24 times 23, is 552. So you can more than likely reduce this a little bit further. Um, we're going to go by threes first. And this gives us 48 divided by um, 184. And then if we go one more time and we divide these by four, and this is just us finding common um, common numbers. So 48 divided by four is 12. 184 divided by four is 46. And then we go one step further. Okay, and we just go by twos. So 12 divided by two is six. 46 divided by two is 23. So your final answer, um, the probability of drawing a black checker and a white checker would be um, six out of 23, okay? Um, I do hope that you found this to be helpful. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out. All right. Take care.